Oh, I just fell. No, no, no. These little guys. This is my rev nut tool. My friend Craig. Hopefully I don't just completely mess this up. What are you doing? Does it look like I just woke up? Because I did. Welcome back to the van build. If you are new here, let me introduce us. I'm Linnea and this is Akila. We are hopefully about two months out of actually moving in. Could it take longer than that? Yes, that is something I'm learning. Togo is a 2016 Ram Promaster. He had 74,000 miles on him. You are so distracting. My hope this week is to do a lot of little like house cleaning things. Yesterday I spent some time detaching the lining of my front compartment and insulated all of that with my 3M Thinsulate, which was actually quite a fun project and a lot easier than I thought it would be. Let's get to work. I'm done with the insulation in the back. I am now going to use this to insulate my wheel wells and the tiny little cross beam things on my ceiling. I tried stuffing my insulate in there and it was just really annoying. Wish me luck. I probably shouldn't be touching that. Sorry, mom. fell no 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 expanding and a little chunk of it that came through a hole fell luckily it fell on a piece of garbage oh my gosh this stuff is so messy no no oh my god <laughs> what is happening i need something what a shit show look it landed on my back i'm gonna run and get garbage bags because this is ridiculous So this part kind of turned into a mess and now I know what not to do next time. So I only have one more cross beam thing to do. This time I'm going to be prepared with a garbage bag underneath and I'm going to wear my face mask and then I'll be done with the spray foam. I've also decided to spray foam the edges of my floor because there is a little bit of a space. <laughs> It's okay. Oh my God. Okay, now I'm gonna do the floor. What do you want? Oh, she wants her ball. I'll get it in a moment. So the plan for today is to cut off all of the excess spray foam and then work on my wheel well boxes. Did you get it? I don't know how she got that. Okay, time to clean. First, I'm going to fill in this crack. Ideally, it'll be dry in a few hours so I can do some more work on the floor. And now, I work on cutting everything down while that dries. Now I'm gonna work on measuring my garage, I almost said garage door, my garage wall panels. So for most of my walls, it's gonna be like shiplap, but just to save some money and energy, the walls of my garage are just gonna be half inch plywood, so. I'm still gonna want this to look like normal panels, so I'm gonna end my like garage space just with this. No, I'm actually gonna line it up to here and then to here. And you know what? If it doesn't look super great, like the edges, that's what trim is for. So, all right, oh yeah, I'm already recording, okay. I'm not gonna explain what I did because it probably wouldn't make sense to anybody else. <laughs> but it makes sense up here, so I gotta make this cut before I forget. I just measured a few different places on the wheel well to get like an estimate shape. The thing is, this is gonna be covered up by some of the box for the wheel well anyway. So if I'm being honest, I'm kind of just eyeballing this one. We'll see how it goes. Wow, this is so close. I have like 
two tiny cuts to make, so I'm gonna do that quick. There she is. This next one is gonna be a lot better. And I think I'm gonna screw it in. I think it looks great. Okay, so I'm gonna sand them, and then I'm gonna stain them, then I'll attach them. That's kind of my goal to finish off the day. Do a little sanding, do a little staining, do a little screwing. Like the boards into the wall. <laughs> I'm gonna drill my hole for um, the side of the garage where my solar panel stuff will go so that the group of wires can fit through my wall. Hopefully I put it in the right spot. I'm actually just gonna measure and make sure it's in the right spot. Good morning. Very skilled people watcher here. Okay, so first thing this morning, I'm making a little Home Depot trip. Originally, I was going to attach my plywood with some like wood to metal screws, but the screws pretty easily just pop out if they're not done perfectly or if they get stripped a little bit, which is really easy. And the, the metal's just so thin to hold something in. So I knew and I had already made the decision that for all of my framing, I was going to use rivet nuts or blind nuts or riv nuts so i've decided that i'm gonna do that same thing for my garage so this is what will be inserted into a hole and it's threaded inside already i am going to grab um the bolts that i need to fit this m8 riv nut and then i can get to it They didn't have the right size. So, off to Ace Hardware. Holy cow. <laughs> okay, I got what I needed. These little guys. I wanted something that's going to be very flush with my wood. Pretty excited about this. Okay, wow, now I can actually get back home and install my garage. Everything takes longer than you think it will. Do you notice something? Okay, so one of my wall panels is up. I wanted to do that because basically I didn't want to waste your time. I had never used a riv nut tool before, so I took a while to figure it all out. Let's start with this. This is my riv nut tool. It's extremely fun. It's also a little bit harder than I expected. It's like physically harder than I thought it would be, but it's a very simple process. So basically you have your sheet metal. Since your sheet metal, you really can't access that opposite side. This is a really safe way, a really strong way to attach something to sheet metal. So this is our riv nut. This little um, part gets crimped behind the metal. Once this is in your metal, pretend my hand is the sheet metal. Once it's in your metal, you then take your bolt and thread it in, securing it. Um, this has like a crazy high strength compared to just uh, wood to metal screw. So it's not going anywhere. What's really great is these little like hex holes that's already in the frame are actually the perfect size for these rift nuts. So the size that I'm using is an M8. So it's, it's metric, which is kind of tricky. Um, most things when you go to our stores, if you're in the US, most of them are in standard sizes, but regardless, they still have metric stuff. I just couldn't find it at Home Depot and I had to go to Ace. Anyway, M8, the thread is 1.25 and uh, this is how it works. So basically the piece that kind of gets like crimped down in the back kind of acts as like a, like what a washer would or like a nut. So I'm gonna open it up all the way. This fitting on here is specifically for M8. So the tool kit that I got has like M3 to M10, something like that. That could be wrong, but you get the idea. You thread it on, making sure to thread it on as the handles are totally out. Then you just put it in a hole and you pull down. You just crimp it together like so. This is the part that's a little harder than I thought it would be, okay? So that just crimped it to the back. Now you take this, thread it back out. So now you have a perfect hole that your bolt can now thread into. I'm gonna finish putting in my riv nuts, then I'm gonna drill my holes in my board and thread these through and that's it. And then my garage is up. 
Um, I'm gonna link everything that I'm using below. My tool, my riv nut. I'll link the um, the flathead bolts as well. So I've got it threaded on here with the handles wide open. Why is it so difficult? At Boom. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna drill the holes. Honestly, I've kind of just been eyeballing this one. Worked last time. <laughs> I'm gonna suggest that you measure where your holes are um, and then drill the holes. I'm gonna show you what I'm using. Flat socket screw. It's an M8 1.25. I'm using 25s for the garage. That just means the length. And I ordered um, 40s for the framing since it'll be going through one by twos instead of just half inch plywood. Yeah, we good? Oh yeah. Really, impact would be nice, but this is working just fine. This is a little bit warped, but I'm gonna help it out a little bit. Come on, other way. Oh yeah, come on, okay. Where's my thing? Oh my God. And it's a new day. Today, what's our goal today, Akila? Goal for today, wheel all boxes. I'm gonna get to measuring. So I'll make boxes about 38 inches long. It's like 17 inches tall and about 11 inches wide. Scared me, hi! Wow, that was slightly painful, but oh my gosh, that's perfect. Not bad, not bad. I'm gonna sand and stain these like partial boxes, sand and stain the tops, and then I'll finish putting them all together here. Yeah, okay. I feel like I just keep repeating myself. Oh my god, I'm so excited for these boxes. Are you guys having fun? Just a little bit. Very little bit. Maybe you can teach me some. Hi. Hi. All right, on to the staining part. So I got all of the pieces stained, and as these dry, I'm going to take Togo to the. I almost said to the vet. That's weird. I'm gonna take him to get vacuumed out. All right, I'm almost there. I just cleaned, this is so tall. First, I need to get to know my friend here a little bit. My friend, Craig. I bought this Craig jig because people have said that it's like the best investment ever, especially if I'm gonna do cabinetry, which I am, everything's gonna be custom, which will be quite the process because I've never done that before. So I'd like to use it to help with um, attaching my wheel wall boxes to my garage walls and my floor. Yeah. <clears throat> so my tent broke yesterday, which is really sad because it's actually a thousand degrees out here. Oh yeah, I can. Okay. Well, it worked. Let's just do one more. Oh! Wow, look at that. Sweet, sweet. All right, let's do it for real now, huh? Huh? Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so easy. So I got this guy in. There are some things that I wish were a little bit different but this is really good experience for me to get before doing some more stuff that is going to be um, basically always seen. So the Craig jig comes with a really nice long bit, which makes it very easy to get the screw where it needs to be in the pocket. I don't have any more of the screws that fit this long bit. This works, not ideal. It's all right though. Last 
up to you, little dude. Oh, that was beautiful. He's sturdy. Feels so freaking good. I'm done. Van build is done. And now I get to lay my floor. Yes. That bothers me. There's a little lip on the other one. And really bothers me. I honestly might take my jigsaw to it. I'm gonna do it really fast. <laughs> Hopefully I don't just completely mess this up. I'm an expert at my trade. Just kidding. Well, my garage is done. I know that my cuts weren't perfectly straight and the boxes aren't flawless, but this process taught me how to use my Rivnut tool, how to use my Craig jig, and I learned a lot through the little mistakes that I did make. Overall, I'm super happy with it. I still love my stain as well. To all of my subscribers and followers, thank you so much for taking the time to watch these videos and root for me and cheer me on. And if you are not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button, give me a like. Stay tuned for some of the next steps because it'll really start to come together, I think, I hope. My next video will be on the details of my flooring. In that same video, you will also see the change that I am making to my bed frame. So I am not including price in this video just because really all I used were some stains, some screws, and some plywood. So catch the price in the next video. I will include kind of the whole garage and flooring project in that in the next um, price breakdown. Okay, I'm super stoked for my floor, so I am going to get sweeping and I will catch you in a few days.